How to install a TerraWave coaxial connector onto TerraWave coaxial cable. Materials needed. Wire cutters, cable, strip tool, connector spec sheet, connector, solder, solder and iron, crimp tool, wire brush, and heat gun. Prepare the cable. Cut the rough length of cable you need. It is important to use high quality cutters. Please be advised, the cable cut must be clean and the cable must not be crushed or out of shape in any way. Stripping the cable. TearWave indicates the recommended stripping lengths for each connector on the spec sheet. Please consult the spec sheet for specific stripping dimensions. Step one, adjust the wire stripping tool so the first cut is down to the center copper wire. The second cut should just cut through the jacket, exposing the braid just below the jacket. A properly aligned tool will not cut through any of the wire braiding. Multiple adjustments may be needed to precisely align your tool for the proper depths. Step two. When the stripping tool is properly adjusted, insert the cable into the stripper so that the cable is flush with the end of the tool. Step three. Spin the stripping tool around the cable until the tool spins freely. Step four, pull the stripper away from the cable while lightly squeezing the jaws of the stripper. Step five, insert the other end of the wire stripper onto the cable and spin gently. This cut will remove the outer jacket and expose the braided cable shield. Installing the connector. Step one, slide the provided heat shrink over the cable jacket. Step two, slide the ferrule over the cable jacket. Step three, Fold the braiding back over the jacket of the cable. This can be done manually or with a wire brush. Pushing the braiding back is an important step for three reasons. The braid should not touch the center conductor at all. Pushing the connector onto the cable with the braiding still covering the insulator is much harder. The braiding must make contact with the body of the connector and pulling back the braiding ensures a better and tighter crimp. Step four, solder the center pin of the connector to the center conductor of the cable. The solder must be hot enough to run into the holes on the center pin, melting the pin to the copper conductor. Let cool. The connection should be solid and lump free. Step five, slide the connector over the cable jacket, assuring the center pin fits properly through the center of the body of the connector. Step six, the white insulation of the connector should be flush with the inside of the connector. Step seven, pull the ferrule to the body of the connector. It should fit snug with the connector body. Step eight, crimp the ferrule of the connector onto the cable with moderate pressure. TerraWave provides the recommended crimp die size for each connector on the spec sheet. If you do not have the recommended crimp diameter, a smaller die may work. Do not use a larger die than is recommended because the ferrule will not crimp onto the cable properly. Step nine, do a pull test to ensure the connector is snug on the cable. If the connector body pulls out, the ferrule was not tight enough and you may need to apply more pressure when crimping. Step 10, pull the heat shrink over the ferrule. Step 11, using the heat gun, lightly wave the gun over the heat shrink until it has shrunk to a tight fit around the ferrule and the cable. Apply even heat over the entire surface of the heat shrink. Do not overheat the heat shrink. This may cause an increase in normal attenuation rates. Properly terminating coaxial cable will take some practice and patience. Tesco offers pre-terminated cable assemblies using TerraWave cable and connectors in a variety of lengths, cable types, and connector combinations.